There you go. That's exactly what I meant by pause at the end. All right. Our uh, next re beer review will be Belching Beaver Brewery, the peanut butter milk stout, stout with natural flavor. You will see a beaver holding a beer and a what I think is a squeeze bottle of peanut butter. Let's see, where are they out of, Michael? Uh, let's Oceanside, see. Oceanside, California. Yep, which doesn't make any sense since we live in the beaver state. Could just be, they might switch their label for every state, who knows? Maybe it's the Sunshine Brewing Company down there. What was the alcohol percentage? That's this what's most is a five point three zero percent, which is odd for a stout. Normally, yeah. those are like up in the eights, as eights, far as nines, my experience. Tens. Yeah. Let's uh, see what this bad boy looks like. I wonder if it's not going to be as thick then. Still, fairly dark beer for. I wouldn't say it's too thick. I would say like a root beer consistency, maybe. Yeah, it looks more. a little thinner than a stout usually is. It's probably hence the uh, lower alcohol. Percentage. Makes it probably a little more science, bitch. <laughs> probably makes it a little more drinkable as far as uh, hot days and maybe not, like you're not having a meal while you're drinking one. Oh, it smells good. It smells like peanut. It smells like a uh, uh, like a like a peanut butter wafer. It's exactly what it, yeah. that is exactly what it smells like. Hmm. Doesn't it? It does, yeah. That's good. I really like that. Mm. Man, that's I'd good. Say, that was really good. Um initially Initially a coffee flavor, followed by you can definitely taste the peanut butter. Yes. And the wafer, exactly what you're saying, that wafery flavor. That it does. Is wa very wafer. Which isn't bad. I, don't, I think no. it's different, but it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. It's like um, eating a wafer nutter butter. It is. It's really good. I that's, like it. That was delicious. It's not, for a stout too, it's not heavy. It's pretty light for a stout. I mean, I'd say it's more on the kind of porter I mean, if we're talking uh, darkness level, what are you, what are you looking at there? I mean, you're gonna put me in that thing, huh? Yeah. In the darkness. Set, the darkness setting level. you up for failure. Are you? Yeah. In the darkness level. Yeah. What would you compare that to? Oh my goodness. Like, uh, you looking at like fumbling your private parts at fifteen type darkness, <laughs> or uh... Uh, probably a. Uh, Christian Bale, Dark Knight kind of darkness. That was bad. That was terrible. We're going to... Yeah. You want bad. me to edit that one out? No, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. What else? Maybe, uh... <clears throat> describe the darkness. Yeah, like, what on a level of, like, Flint, Michigan water to, um... <laughs> Chernobyl water? To, uh, like, Osama Fukushima. Bin Laden's... Osama Bin Laden's beard? Like, uh, what level are we looking at here? How salt and pepper. That was, he did have a lot of uh, salt in there, didn't he? He did. He was a salty fella. He was. <laughs> that liked yeah. American porn, too. Yes, he did. Yeah. Well, what other kind is there? If, if there's anything we can be proud of as a country, it's fucking porn. Yes. Blonde, white women. High five that. Fake boobs that you can see the sides ripple yeah. on. Ooh. I love it when you can put your fist between their chest and you don't hit boob. Uh, yeah. That's exactly. my favorite. Yeah. That I, means they I like the job. boobs that have lazy eyes so that, like they're both looking off in either direction. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I love to see the entire outline of the silicone sack in there. Mm -hmm. uh, That's how you know it was a good doctor. He's yeah. like, well, we could make the the skin bigger so that it all fits in here, but now it's just stuffing in there. He's like jumping up and down on their yeah. chest, getting that implant to go in. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit in there though yeah no um, never fully yeah this is like Rick James darkness um, <laughs> you talking about his life or uh, like Dave Chappelle racist? Dave Chappelle playing Rick James you know 
The darkness. The darkness. Fuck your couch. Wait, man. wasn't that Charlie Murphy was the darkness? Was he? Yeah. That's what the five fingers say the face? Killer. So that right. R.I.P. Charlie Murphy. He's a funny man. So now, I still taste almost like a metallic-y aftertaste. I mean, uh, there is. Once, like, it sits for a while. I honestly, I think that has to do more with the bottle than it does the beer. You think so? I don't know why, but whenever I get... Whenever I get stuff out of a bottle, it seems to have metallic aftertaste. There's nothing like off the tap, that's for sure. I wish oh, they could sure. figure out how to do a mini keg right to where it would be beneficial. You or... need to Google Pico Brew. Pico Brew, what's that? It's a, it's like it looks like a large microwave, mm -hmm. and you can make your own beer at home. No okay. kidding. Yeah, it does the brewing for is you. Is that legal? It is. Okay. But, what about spirits? What if I want to set up like a moonshine operation? That's highly illegal. Is it? And you have too much teeth to do that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You don't look close enough to the woods either. No, you don't. And, mm. yeah. I don't, you know my favorite? I don't think you're sponsored by Hickory Shirts either. No, that's true. Damn. That's <laughs> a, goals, though. I mean, there's goals, right? Uh, I think there's definitely goals in life, and that might be one. I mean, you might, might wind be. up on a TV show on a History Channel or something. Yeah, like where they fake like they're out making moonshine the whole time. I like how they throw, like, everything, and they're like, oh, I don't wear this Nike anymore because they're fucking ad campaigns. <laughs> fucking cow throw it in the Throw it in the fucking mix. Yeah. With all the corn and the leftover dinner and two chicken legs you got yeah. floating around in there. Like, I'm making whiskey out of this. I put my dick in a box. Hashtag just do it. You know who didn't do that is this Oceanside, California. It is good. Like you said, there just is... Just wonderful smelling. There is that uh, kind of metallic aftertaste, but it is a very good beer. I think it's just because it comes from California. Yeah. 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 Which... It might be the you only, taste the pollution. It might be the only good thing that comes out of California. Well, be yeah, mostly. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> Get it. Get it? Oh my goodness. Get it? I like, like it. Like our governor. Mm. I think that's entirely true. I think it's both ways. Love you, Kate. I love you. Oh, we're getting murdered. I'm shaking your hand next time I meet you. You are? Yep. Now, can I see your hand? It hand. Are you gonna Are you gonna shake it like this or like like, like I'm meeting the like, queen? Are you gonna like how are you gonna do it, you think? I don't know, like this or maybe like you know, like just bend <laughs> over? I mean she's already taken it to me. You see the you see the taxes around here. That is true. I mean I mean I love you, Kate. There. I love Kate. I'm with her. Hashtag, I'm with her. It's gonna be like when your brother met Obama. <laughs> Spoiler, it didn't go over well. Just, yeah. I'm a hardcore Republican. Oh my God, Mr. President, it's so nice to meet you. Yeah, he cried. He did. He cried. He so that's our president. Yes. That's, you support him. He's a Democrat now. He is. Well, that's when you get state jobs. What else are you going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag fact. We've uh, we've created uh, thousands of new jobs. Uh, also, you're going to have to sit at the DMV for seven hours. Yes. Whereas if any other company did it, you what would goes not on have in the to. DMV that all those people hate life? I think here's my theory. Let me pour beer all over the table before I give that's you my okay. hard thought out theory. I'll look it up later. All these state offices, the post office, the DMV, especially. I think it's a uh, stru not a structured system where it's uh, money-based. The money's always going to be coming in, right? Whereas if you're a company who has to actually work for it, say like UPS or you know any of their competition-type places yeah. like that, you if you don't have customer satisfaction, they're just going to go use someone else. Whereas they always will have funding if it's a state-run place. And also, if you work at the DMV and you're on year 20 of your job, you have to deal with everybody because everybody has to go to the dmv whether it's the yeah. richest person in town or the poorest person in town driving yeah. so i can only imagine your day when you have no way of really moving up by showing initiative like you do in other companies because they're all they're all profit based so yeah. if you're a really good employee they value you and you get moved up into a higher position there's not much of that in a dmv or a post yep. office like you you're, yeah. you can be postmaster general but you're gonna have to go through a lot of schooling Normally, the person sorting mail is probably not becoming the postmaster general. So I think 
all those places, it's you're kind of stuck in this dead end job where you're getting paid no matter what, mm-hmm. and customer service doesn't matter because they have to come to you no matter what. Yep. And then also you you get to deal with the people who definitely don't want to be there because they don't have to deal with this other class of society very much, and then that class of society that most people don't want to deal with every single day. Yeah. And they're all pissed because it's all run slow, and by the time you get to the counter. They're like, oh, you didn't fill out the proper paperwork that you didn't know to fill out because you changed the laws every two months. Oh, yeah. you're so stupid. Two here's seconds. the here's the thing. Go get back in line. You're number one twenty seven now. <laughs> <laughs> That's just yeah. It's just not, not it is. the DMV is one of the places that I hate going the most. Yes, I really, everybody. I it's like the dentist, it. and you don't even get anything torn out. No, well, besides your checkbook. Yeah, well, that that, they got to pay for those potholes that no one's fixing. That's a, that's a that's a beer for another time. Yes, it is. Also, the consistency. Speaking of potholes, looks a lot like the liquid that's in there. <laughs> you want the last drink? It's you. It is really delicious. I mean, that initial taste is one of the best I've had. Super good. Good on you, belching beaver. Yes, that's really good. Now, marketing. Where are we at on it? Well, I mean, it's pretty standard. I mean, it's nothing that, I mean, it, this is like it, it, anything that you're going to really find um, from most of the major brands. It doesn't, it's not something that jumps out at you, but it's clean. It's it's good looking. Um, the graphics are good. It doesn't look so, a lot of these, um, what do you want to call it? Microbrew companies or what, is, what am I looking for here? Uh, yeah. Craft beer yeah, companies. Yeah, craft beer, yeah. Uh, Microbrew is fine. They're, they're, their labels look like they made it on their cell phone. This one's not one that I would mm. say looks like it was made on a cell phone, but it's not also one that jumps out on you. No, I mean, it's professionally made, but at the same time, it's not, I mean... Nothing over the top. Or, it's pretty to the point. Yep. I mean, it's not... You got your little beaver character on there. It's uh, definitely to not fit with the name. Room. No. There's no hipster person on it. The no. beaver does not have a side part like myself or a bushy beard uh, with the twisted mustache like it's 1922. So there is that. I mean, if that's what you're into, this isn't the one for you. If Also, if you just like belching beavers. I mean, I preferably don't like belching beavers. Why don't you just call your beer queef? I don't feel like you should have just called it that. <laughs> We went there. We, we went there. Yeah. Beavers. They're you're, good. You're, Just not belching. You're, you're a beaver alumni, aren't you, sir? I, I am a beaver alumni. That's right. And I'm sure they're proud of me right now. They probably are. They're like, you know what? Out of all OSU graduates, yep. the guy making queef jokes. Yes. Mike Brewer. Oh, I'm sorry to couple you in yeah. with my demented sense of humor. And kids, if you're watching this in the future, no, I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> to my daughters. Yes. This is my sense of humor. You're probably already used to it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Two. So out of stouts. It was good. It really was good. Out of uh, stouts on a 1 to 10, where are you putting her? Ooh, that's tough. See, I'm going to change it up because it is a stout. And so it's not going to be probably as high as you might expect. Okay. So on a stout, I would say, I mean, it's good. It's it's really good. It's not something that uh, really, like, pops, though. It's not something that I would consider necessarily in my top five or top ten. But mm. I give it a solid... C plus, so I'll give it a uh, 7.8. Okay. Uh, so initial taste, I felt like was like a wow, you hit it out of the park. Um, I'm going to give the initial taste like upwards of a 9 as far as like best beers. I've just like, the initial sip yeah. was like, oh wow. That's and the smell, delicious. the smell's and great. The smell. I mean, aroma wise, um, it's one of the best I've smelled. Yeah, so I'm going to go really high on that with like a, an 8 or 9 uh, with that initial taste. There is a still a bit of a metallic aftertaste, which just isn't my thing. Maybe it's yours. Uh, 
So I'm, I'm going to drop down to a seven there. So I think I'll end up right around the same as you, like including the marketing, yeah. which I, I think is... It's solid. Know, it's not it's solid, solid that but, pops, it's not, but yeah, it's professional. It's but not, not so far. It's, it's right there. If you're so, going through the beer section, it's not going to jump out at right. you. It's not going to be like Michael Jackson and the Neverland Ranch. He's not going to jump right. out at you. No one's like, mmm, Belching Beaver. I got to try that. Yes. But that name does catch your eye. I it, mean, does. it does. It's not bad. When you say it in your head, Belching Beaver... And you start thinking about, what the fuck is a belching beaver? So, it's just like, can you imagine texting your buddy like, yo, hey, grab a pack, uh, six pack of uh, belching beaver before you come over. Just, it doesn't quite roll off. No, but... it doesn't. It's not like, you know, the classic, like, rolling rock. Right. Yeah. Like, exactly. You know, like, yeah. hey, grab us some cores. Like, hey. Grab me a bud, would you? Gr yeah. Grab me some camels and some rolling rock. Yeah, exactly. You get me a two-tooth prostitute, some camels. Yeah. And two bush light camo cans. Yeah. And that 24 pack that's on sale, Rolling Rock. Yeah. The Caser. AKA Saturday Nights in West Virginia. Why do you keep picking on West Virginia? What are you this looking at me for? West Virginia, do you think? Is it a coal miner's daughter situation? They have trees and mountains and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. So, back to the beer. I'm the honestly. Mountains. <laughs> I'm honestly going to give it. I think 7.9 to 8. It's uh, really good. That initial good. taste is amazing. The smell good. is amazing. The marketing Wait, is a whoa, little whoa. You can't do a 7.9 to 8. What is it? Is it 7.9? Is it a C plus or is it a B minus? Well, like, much like, okay, Bob Barker, much like uh, I just Price wanna, is Right, hey, I'm going to go. We need you, to take you win 7.9. Okay, are you going to be the Russian judge? Because 7.10 just doesn't have a good ring to it. You know what I'm saying? It's not a real thing, though. <laughs> 710 is at 8.0. Okay, well, then I'm going 8. Honestly. You're going 8. I, the, you're, you're the being marketing generous. almost drops it down to 7.9. I'm in agreement you're being with you. Generous. But just to switch it up. Are I'll you be sponsored generous. by Belching Beaver? I'm normally the one that shits all over them, so so I'm going to go ahead over. and give it an 8. Okay. Now, if you had. Now, let me be clear. If this was so you're eight, making me the Russian judge in this. You're scenario. the Simon Cow, is what I'm saying. I'm the Simon Cow. This time. Good cop, bad cop. Someone, it's a no for me. Someone's got to do it. Yep. I'm the bad guy. Uh, I will say, if this was like an 8.9% alcohol, it would be ranked in the 9 or 10. But given that it's only a 5.9, I feel like they could have probably did even better with Yeah, flavor. I would say that with the 5.3 being 5 lower. 5.3, there we go. Being lower, it is kind of a negative. I mean, I mean, it depends if you're just somebody that... You know, the flavor better be there if you're that low of alcohol content yes. in these beers. In my opinion, it's a competitive market. You can get a really good beer that has like an 8%, but yeah. they disguise the alcohol content so well that you can't really taste it. And so, yeah. out of all the ones I've tried, this is up there, yeah. but it's also a much lower alcohol. Now, percentage. that being said, I would like to try this draft you know, on tap. Oh, yes. I want to try it on tap, because I bet you it's, it's even better. We should always... Preface by this is yeah. coming out of a glass bottle that glass or can that who knows when they bottled it. Well, does it tell us? Right there, nineteen sixteen. So I mean, yeah. that's probably why. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't. Next time you're in California and you your beavers are belching, have a peanut butter stout. It's not bad. I think the beavers belch a lot more than the doggy style position. Would you say? That could be. Yeah. There's, lots a, of, there's a lots of ram air. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you need those mud flaps on. You gotta get a few dodge jokes in there for your redneck friends. <laughs> dodge. So if you're, dodge. Hey, if you're watching from your ram pickup right now, this is the beer for you. It is. Well, I well, because you've been no drinking driving, you're like, officer, I just literally ate like 700 Dunder Butters. That's why my breath smells like this. Yes. I'm Memphis, sir. I'm not drunk. I don't remember what the fuck movie it was, but pro tip for you. Keep a dead bee in your car, and if you ever get pulled over for drunk driving, they say you were swerving. Show them the dead bee and say the bee was flying around in there and you had to yes. swat it. And that your firearms are useless. Exactly. You're bulletproof. Yep. Angel dust. Little, Full circle. Little trick his dad taught him. That was, a Tommy, right. that was a Tommy Boy reference. Good. You, I love Tommy Boy. Good call. Done. Let's get another beer. All right. We still got a couple of news stories, but the news stories weren't going as well as the beer reveal. <laughs> well.